Hello, what's up guys? I'm PD Lining, and in today's video, I managed to transform Vanilla Minecraft into an alien planet. Using texture packs and data packs, you guys got a chance to try and survive while exploring this refreshing alien environment with amazing looking mobs and futuristic weapons. Just like always, you can find all the download links in the description below, and if you want to see more transforming videos like this, please please consider subscribing, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. This video is obviously inspired by Asian Hub Squad, check out his channel in the description below, and now, let's get into today's video. The first spot on the list is the Star Odyssey texture pack. This pack is the most important and changes the most of your micro world out of all of the other texture packs, and it is also the reason that inspired me of making this video in the first place. It changes most of the block textures in Minecraft to match up with the theme of an alien planet, including grass block and leaf block variations, as well as tool textures and water textures. It also has custom mob models for some common mobs and a biome dependent sky textures. Now, with the big picture stuff out of the way, this next track on the list is the Star Wars Weapons and Mob Pack. As a lot of you probably already guessed, I am most likely to be using some Star Wars related and inspired add-ons to Minecraft. I mean, come on, do you even blame me? This sector adds a lot more mob models and textures into the game than Star Odyssey. And to be honest, without this pack, there's a high chance of you seeing prominent vanilla Minecraft mob just hanging around in your world for pretty much the majority of your gameplay. The next step is quite optional, and as you are seeing on the screen, it is custom sky textures. Now, I know, Star Odyssey pack already has custom sky textures, but in my opinion, they're pretty plain and boring, and for those of you who wanted a prettier sky texture, then you are more than welcome to try the following texture packs. For the last step of creating an alien world are terrain generations and biomes. Using only data packs, we can all have this, 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 and even this. Now, the data pack I recommended that will add new biomes to the overall is the Many More Biomes pack. After some research, I found out that there are actually quite a bunch of terrain related data packs, but the reason why I chose this one is because of some of the unusual and not quite exactly vanilla friendly biomes, like volcano biomes, glowing forest biomes, etc. Now the last one on the list is the Incendium Nether Expansion Data Pack. As the name suggests, this pack has so many new amazing biomes that fit the idea of an alien planet perfectly. Especially since there are only 4 biomes in the nether, this data pack really managed to create something fantastic for the players to explore. Alright, that was the end of today's video, and if you enjoyed this video and you hope to see more contents like this in the future, please please consider subscribing, it's free and can always unsubscribe later. Now without further ado, here are some gameplays using all of the text packs and data packs mentioned earlier, and I will be seeing you guys in the next episode.